sometimes when we sing, our tongue can have tension. And the bottom of our tongue is connected like to the top part of the larynx. Mm -hmm. There are these like, there's like a membrane here. And so if your tongue has tension, the tension can affect the way your larynx is producing sound in a negative way. So this is <laughs> a little helpful tongue stretch <laughs> in case we have some tongue tension going on <laughs> inside of Helen Ashley's mouth. So why don't you stand actually facing me like this so we can see what comes. <laughs> don't be scared. Um, so you have to stick your tongue out of me and I'm going to use this, um, this gauze, which is a special kind of gauze, so it won't get pieces in your mouth. Okay. And um, I'm going to pull your tongue straight out towards okay. me. And you should feel like a pretty intense stretch down in here okay. at the base of your tongue. Okay. And um, if I'm pulling too hard, you can like scream or like hold your hand up or something because <laughs> you won't be able to talk really. Okay. And um, so I'm going to pull and hold. And then when I can feel like a little bit of a release, I'm going to be pulling more and more. Right. Okay. So, <laughs> so I just want you to know what to expect. You ever seen the movie The Mummy? <laughs> I think I did. With Brendan Fraser? There's a scene called The Hum Die, and there's literally a scene where they take flyers and they pull this guy's tongue. Oh, like, oh no. Sorry. <laughs> this won't be like that, hopefully. Well, I guess I don't know what that was like, but probably not. <laughs> okay. okay, here we go. I'm going to grab mm -hmm. underneath. <laughs> and I'm going to pull. And try not to lean towards me. <laughs> Huh, you don't have a, a very long tongue. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'm Paul five. Oh. Can I pull a little more? Mm. No? <laughs> wow, I feel like I'm barely pulling. You can also, if it starts to feel okay, you can like lean backwards a little bit to kind of adjust to stretch yourself. <laughs> and we'll just hold it for... Do you feel it down in here? Mm -mm. Where are you feeling it? Just here? Mm -mm. I'm tongue-tied, so I uh have... -huh. Your frenulum is... Oh, wow! So... So where are you feeling the stretch right now? In, in that little, like... In the frenulum. In the friendly, frenulum. Okay. Hmm. So now, let's try <laughs> the... Yeah, that's interesting. Let's try the side. It feels like you've stretched my tongue. Like, I feel What like do you feel right now that I like, let go? down like in a little bit yes. lower towards my front like yes. a little weird thing mm -hmm. feels a little more stretched i mean it definitely feels like it's been it's been stretched it feels i don't know more spacious under my tongue now good okay so, so i, I want to do four different directions so now <laughs> <laughs> i really want to get to know your tongue okay um Wow, that was like really trippy because I didn't know that about your tongue beforehand, and it, I was like, this "I thought is such a strange." I was like, may "Maybe I should mention yeah, that." Yeah, yeah. Um, I do also. I can do. Oh wow! So I have like. You got a really special tongue. <laughs> Good for you. So, <laughs> so now I'm gonna want to pull out, but to the side. Okay. And just do the same thing. Let me know. Right. Yeah, I was like, "Wow, I can barely grab your tongue." Usually, people can kind of pull, push it out. Better. You okay? Mm -hmm. You're like kind of moving with me, so I don't know if I'm pulling too much. I keep this shoulder here. <laughs> don't laugh, that ruins everything. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> How does that feel to the side? Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, let's try again. I'm going to try and hold it a little longer. Mm -hmm. Pulling this way. <laughs> oh, I can get. I can feel like the stretch <laughs> on this side. Does it feel okay? Yeah. Okay. Let's My try. only fear is like this little like like bit here. I know it's just like it's just, like a little bit of like skin is like <laughs> my brain's like it's gonna fucking break. Oh no. But I'm like I don't think it will. But I'm like. <laughs> well, I would think you'd feel a yeah. twinge before. Yeah. yeah. I'd the, feel a little more. The <laughs> tissue would actually yeah. break. So if you start to feel that, by yeah. all means, be like. Okay. Ah! <laughs> okay. So let's try the other side. I won't do too long because I don't want to. I 
feel like I can get a better stretch on me from this side. It's like it keeps going. It's really interesting. Okay, and now this next one, I'm going to actually put two fingers <laughs> on either side of your frenulum. Okay. I'm going to try and like get these tips back against the base of the tongue and lift up. Okay. So instead of side, side, or out, it's going to be up. Okay. okay. So you have to open and like put your tongue up out of the way. Yeah. Wow, what an interesting frenulum. It's really crazy. Okay. And I kind of grab the frenulum and I like lift up. Oh. Okay. okay. <laughs> Stop right there. Or let go a little bit. Mm. That. Mm. <laughs> and was I lifting symmetrically? Did I think you? so. Good. Okay, so what sensations are you feeling right now? It definitely feels looser. Like it feels like there's more room. What feels looser? Just like my like the back of my tongue and like just the underside of it. Good, good. Okay, so now <laughs> part two. <laughs> you have to do it to me. Oh gosh. <laughs> you can see how it feels, and then you have to do it to yourself. That's the third step. Okay. Let me get rid of my gum. I haven't thought about my frenulum with my little frenulum in a while. Oh. Can't forget about your frenulum. Because I had I've had people I know people like that get that cut or snipped as a kid. Yeah, I had another student who had that and she had to get her snipped when she was a mm. little girl. She could never um she's on TikTok. She <laughs> she could never roll her R's. We were practicing. I can roll my R's. That's good. So I can do that with the little piece of skin. I think hers was maybe attached all the way. Yeah. But she um we were working on her senior recital and she could never Roll her R's, but we found some workarounds, and she sounded great. Okay, I don't wanna. Okay, so straight out, gently. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Too much? Uh uh. Give me a little. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's really good. So what did you notice? Anything? <laughs> felt like I was holding your tongue. Yeah. So, so I mean, I, there was a little bit of resistance. There was a moment where I could go a little further, but... That's an excellent observation. So at first you'll feel a certain amount of resistance, and then as you hold, the muscles will release and you can pull a little bit farther. So that's a good thing to notice. And now um, maybe try this side. Okay. I don't want to like put my hand in the cloth because I have to like grab your tongue with it, but at the same time I gotta open the cloth. It's okay. <laughs> so out and then. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm Try the other side. Okay. I feel like that one kid from the Christmas story where he gets his tongue stuck in a pole. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm losing grip. It's okay. okay. You want to try the side, that side one more time? You can. Get a good grip. <laughs> Eat it. <laughs> Feel it all the way down here to my larynx. Like, I don't think I can because I have stretch. that like mm -hmm. it's stopping it because it's it was feeling fine and then the frenulum would hit my teeth and mm -hmm. then I was like mm, that's not. So um, 
part, like the reason why I keep asking you what mm -hmm. you're feeling and telling you what I'm feeling is I think because part of the thing is you have to learn to recognize the sensations. These sensations are very subtle. So this isn't like, you know, if I like bend over and stretch the back of my legs, this huge muscle here, I can feel like a really Tight. noticeable, yeah. intense stretch and probably most people could. These are like, much, this This is the whole vocal tract from the larynx to the lips, you know, and these are like very small mm -hmm. little tissues, muscles and tendons that we're dealing with. So um, the sensations sometimes might be so subtle you don't even notice what the sensation is yeah. or that the sensation is occurring until you've experienced the sensation and like labeled it okay. a few times if that makes sense and maybe not like that it may be different for you than it is for me but um since you did feel something i think that it, it is going to make a difference for you and so now try that <laughs> <laughs> uh, use the towel still oh yeah uh -huh. okay because yeah. otherwise it's harder to grip <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. You don't like? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Is that good? Mm-hmm. Shall we go? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Great. So now you can throw that away. And third step, you don't have to use a glove if you don't want to, but um I usually do because it just kind of grosses me out to put my fingers in my mouth. <laughs> but now we're going to have you try it on you, which is the ultimate goal, of course, because you can do this at home. These are called non-woven sterile sponges, okay. the gauze pads are. Okay. And so we'll see if you can remember all four of the stretches that you just learned. <laughs> Got a stubborn glove. <laughs> Forward. And really pay attention to any sensations. I feel the stretch on the bottom and like the under part of my mm -hmm. tongue. Kind of in an arched shape like this. Mm -hmm. Since you're totally in control, you can like wait for the release and then mm -hmm. pull a little more if you're able. So to get the feeling that you're talking about, mm -hmm. I almost have to like roll my tongue. So I'm not stretching. This way? Yeah. I'm not going all the way ah. out using my the little thing. I have to like kind of like <laughs> move my fingers a little back and grab my tongue. Kind and of get, curl it over yeah. almost. I could see how that could have and the I'm, same effect. And I'm feeling it further back when I do that. Good. It's okay, just... that sounds great. Oh. And then when you're ready, you can try side, yep. I can't go from the, I think I've realized I can't go from the exact tip and go out and over because I'm grabbing, like, the spring limit right there. Because mm -hmm. I was able to stretch it more when I was able to, like, move my fingers over a little bit and then pull a little further. So, so that's just... a great observation. You want to try the other side? And then try this stretch. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, unfortunately, of course, we're going to be out of time and we won't get to do the after. The really interesting thing to do is to sing like the exercise you mm -hmm. just did 
which use the evil, which was what made me want to try this on you, mm -hmm. or do like a siren and then do these and then do the same thing again mm -hmm. and see if you notice the difference. So noticing a difference or not noticing a difference either way is good, really, because if you don't notice a difference, it's like, oh, you probably don't have the tongue tension I'm thinking you might have, so you're not really going to need to do this. But if you do notice a difference, it's like, oh yeah, that's the thing you have, and I here's think. a tool you can use to deal with it. It does definitely feel different, mm -hmm. so. Because I, if I do it, there's a difference in my tone quality before and after. So, but I've already been diagnosed with like the tongue tension is a thing I have for sure. So mm -hmm. I'm not a speech pathologist, I can't diagnose you, but we can just see what the cause and effect yeah. is for you. So, how do you feel? It definitely feels like it's been, like I've stretched my tongue. <laughs> Good, give yourself two thumbs up for your special, special time.